Hello, this, we're Rod and Denise Nickel, and we're here to do a few videos on what we talk about in our Western Saddle Fit videos. So, we've got, we put out a lot of information for a lot of years. We've got our blog on rodnickel.com that's linked to from westernsaddlefit.com. We have our Western Saddle Fit The Essentials video on YouTube that's a free one for seven minutes. We've got our DVD and streaming um, video on the basics which is 67 minutes and we've just put out our six hour Western Saddle Fit well beyond the basics video that's also on video on streaming and so we're talking about some of the things that we have put out on there. The first video, the first hour of, of well beyond the basics starts with a quick introduction and then we go into the basic principles and that's on everything we've got out there already. So they're key to in, how any kind of a saddle is going to fit a horse. So. What are the basic principles? The basic principles are what we call the three P's plus one. Position of the saddle, of the tree, uh, pressure, uh, distribute the pressure, and no poking, and the one plus one is you need padding. And we develop these because basically those principles cover everything that you have a six hour video on the well beyond the basics. It's all based on those three things, those three major things plus the one. So what's the first one and why is it the first one? The first one is position. Because if you don't get that one right, it doesn't matter how perfect your saddle or tree is, it will not fit correctly. It will hurt your horse. And it is extremely important because it's one of the first things that we see most people getting wrong. If something gets something wrong, that's usually what ends up getting done wrong is they put the saddle in the wrong place, usually up on the shoulder blades of the horse, too far forward. I was just emailing with somebody who's been watching our videos and he says I like to help people with their saddle fit. Usually it just means I have to move it back off the shoulder blades and get it in the right place and things work out better. So it is extremely common and it doesn't matter if you're a working cowboy, an arena rider, a recreational rider, people get it wrong. And so we show people how to put it right in all of our videos. It's on our, in our essential video that's free on YouTube. Check it out. Make sure you're putting your saddle in the right place. If not, your horse will thank you to change it. Mm -hmm. The second one is pressure. Basically, distribute the pressure in as wide an area as you can. And that's the basic principle behind a western saddle. You have a large, long, and wide bar that is rigid that sits on the horse that distributes the pressure of the rider and what he's doing over a wide area as you can. And if this is small, then it concentrates the pressure. You want it as large as you can to distribute it over as wide an area as you can. And that goes along with the third one, which is no poking, no high pressure. Um, actually, I remember standing out in the shop and talking about uh, which one should we put first, the pressure or the no poking? And if you look on our website that we put back out in 2011, I think, we had the no poking before the high pressure, the, the distribute the pressure, and now we do distribute pressure before no poking. They're very closely They're inclined. And so the problem with high pressure, you're going to have pressure on your horse. As soon as you put anything on your horse, you have some pressure. That's the reality of it. What we don't want is high pressure. And so that's where the no poking idea comes in. Now, if you think about it, a massage therapist puts a lot of pressure on your muscles as they're massaging, but they don't damage them, hopefully, because it's not there for a long term. A moderate but constant high pressure, even, or moderate but con high pressure, moderate pressure for a long time is going to damage your muscles. And that is where things like over cinching comes in. You just tighten it too tight and you leave it there and you don't give your horse a break. The same saddle tightened to a normal level and being used would be fine. Over cinching causes that. The other thing with poking is, you know, I poke a shoulder, not a big deal. But if I sat here and did this every step, for a four-hour ride. It's very irritating. Very irritating and very <laughs> sore. So you don't want high pressure areas and of course in all the videos we show you how to check for those etc. But those basic ideas you want surface area to distribute the pressure but you don't want any high pressure areas. That's vital for any kind of a saddle to fit well. And then there's the plus one which we actually didn't even have on our website. We still don't. Um, because later on we're tree makers, right? We were. And so we're thinking of saddles and trees. Later on we said, just a minute, there's also... Padding. 
which the main thing with padding is just don't use too much. I mean, we can go into materials and stuff like that, but over padding is probably the other biggest problem most people will, will do, um, is just thinking they have to put in a whole bunch. When you put in too much padding, you're going to raise this saddle, this tree, off of the horse more than it needs to be. It's not going to fit down into his back where it should, and it'll make it very unstable. Having the right amount of padding is hugely important. So those are the basic principles. We talk a lot more. We've got a whole section in both the basics and, and in um, well beyond the basics on padding. And of course, the rest of the videos discuss all the other points. And we'll do some more videos on, on how those go as well. If you're interested in more of our videos, you can check out our, well, Western Saddle Fit on YouTube, Western Saddle Fit on Vimeo. Um, and then we have our own websites, westernsaddlefit.com, where you can buy our, our DVD. Um, is that enough for a commercial, do you think? That's probably enough. We'll lose everybody now. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Goodbye.